Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Owl. And it's Saturday. The uh, books should be coming out today. I'm hoping to receive my rule book and arcane journals and uh, ravening hordes and stuff. I hope to receive all of that today, uh, which means I do need to get cracking, start reading through it, and uh, and then um, begin preparing content. Now, I don't want to put videos out until I've actually read it properly. It's all very well putting out a faction focus, but if you don't understand the rules, how can you really identify how a unit works, how good a unit is, and so on. So please do bear with me to make sure that I've got a full handle on the rules. Now, I won't actually be able to play any games because I'm moving house, I'm moving abroad, uh, and all my stuff is packed up for 30 days or so. So um, in uh, in March, I should actually start to get to play a Warhammer the Old World. But up until that point, I'm very much uh, head in the books and uh, seeing how that works based upon my previous experience of having played um, Warhammer the Old World or Warhammer Fantasy Battle as it was for many, 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 many years. But what I thought I'd do is just to give you all a bit of a flavour of what content you can expect to come out over the next few weeks and months with regard to Warhammer the Old World. You've all been really, really kind in your support. There's been a lot of uptake, a lot of interest in the videos, which I absolutely, you know, thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate. It is, um, it came as a huge surprise to me, um, but, uh, but certainly I want to continue on the Warhammer the Old World content. Uh, Warhammer Fantasy overall, passion of mine. I'd say I've been playing it for years. I really enjoy Total War Warhammer as well. So I love this whole IP and this whole world, and uh, and I want to share that with, with everyone else. But just to give you an idea of what, what we've got coming is, um, first of all, I want to take a deep dive into the rule book. So uh, you know, I'll be looking to put a number of videos out on uh, the rules and the rule book. So looking at everything from a uh, more in-depth look at some of the phases. Um, it's not going to be a how to play um, because I tend to find that's best done with um, a video with people doing things on the on the, on, a, on a table, you know, picture paints a thousand words, but it's more having a deep dive into those rules, looking at some things that could be gotchas, for example, uh, then going into some of those unique special rules. So first up, I want to have a bit of a deep dive into the rule book, and I feel that's more important to get a handle on the rules, what they do, how they work, how they interact, before then we look at a faction focus. So um, following on from a deep dive into the rule book, we're going to be um, uh, doing a faction focus series of videos similar to what we've done in the past. So looking at the characters, looking at the core, the special, the rare, taking a bit of a deep dive on them. Uh, also looking at some of the army specific rules, some of the army specific uh, magic items and stuff. And yes, we will also be including uh, rules in the Arcane Journal as well for Tomb Kings and Bretonia. Um, so, you know, that's going to take us, you know, quite a few weeks worth of, of things um, covering those. But, but um, you know, we will be going through, say, deep dive on the faction focus. I want to also look at some sample army lists for each of the factions that everybody's got their own army list in every flavor. Uh, but just, you know, I'll look to put together a couple of army lists that I'm looking at for the factions I'm intending on playing. So uh, you can all comment on them, tell them how bad they are, to, you know, how I can improve it to make it better, which is always a good thing. Um, I also want to look at um, some of the, the unit tier list as well. So when we start, do, you know, getting into the book and by then, hopefully I will also have, uh, have have had a few games in to start to look at, you know, sort of a, a tier list of which units I think are the best in each book, which ones I think uh, are not looking so hot. Uh, I think it's always good to, to have a look at some of these things. Also want to then... Uh, uh, after that, then go into a content where we start looking at some of the law. Um, you know, it, look, the game's just come out. What's the first thing you want to see? We want to see the rules of the game. We want to see the faction rules in the game, right? So that's why I want to focus on that. Um, but afterwards, I do want to have a li little bit look. You know, I'm not a I'm not a, a law professor, for example. I don't know everything uh, about everything on in terms of law, but I do think it would be good to have a look at what the law um, is in Total Warhammer the Old World in a bit more depth that they've put in both of the in, in, in all the books essentially and see that how that uh, matches with what we already know. Uh, and then after that we'll see. Uh, you know, maybe we'll start looking at um, potential new units we might see in the feature in the future for factions. And that's where we're very high on copium and start looking years into the future and going, what could come out, you know, what what units are in Total War Warhammer, for example, that actually aren't on the tabletop well there's actually quite a few so you know could these appear we've definitely seen artwork um, that has been taken from 
Total War Warhammer um, and used in in Tau. So you know maybe uh, we'll see some units ported across years in the future. Um, but maybe we'll take a look at that. Maybe we'll take a look at maybe some homebrew stuff as well, where we take a look at um, uh, units that 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 either. Um, were there in the past aren't there now well what sort of rules could we use for that we could have a good discussion around that so hopefully guys that's given you a bit of a flavor about what's coming up over the next few weeks and months on this channel if there's anything specific that you'd like me to cover or to go into uh, then then please let me know in the comments down below i will be continuing to cover articles that come up on the warhammer community website um you know when it comes up we'll have a little bit of a look at them for warhammer the old world and uh you know once we start seeing a few tournaments being played once we start being able to see some of the results for those tournaments um you know i'll be looking to cover some of that as well so we can kind of get a handle on how certain factions are performing in, in tournaments uh and which tournaments are allowing legacy armies and which ones aren't the recent news article from games workshop stating they uh, now kind of taken over the ITC stuff a little bit concerning because that makes some of that uh, that looks like there's some more official GW tournaments out there and that will prohibit legacy army so a little bit of a concern on that one but those are the sort of things that we're going to be covering like I say in the comments let me know um, if there's anything specific that you would like to see uh, in the content on the channel thanks all for watching if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button.